guys, it's time to make ourselves beautiful because it's organic beauty week. Hey guys, welcome back to EcoBoost. I'm Kate Arnell. If you're new to this channel, then think about subscribing. I'd love it if you did. As you may already know, it's Organic September, which is a campaign run by the Soil Association, which is the UK's leading organic certifier. And I love the Soil Association. I'm often on their website having a little geek out about things. I genuinely feel that they promote organic in a really positive way and they have set a really high standard of criteria that brands and companies have to adhere to if they want to get the Soil Association logo. I know organic can mean different things to different people but organic for me means working with nature not against it and works to promote healthy soils, has very high animal welfare and works in harmony with the natural ecosystems. I genuinely believe if we have healthy soils, then everything else sort of falls into place. So think of it as being a very biodiverse organic, not the large industrial organic monocultures, because I know that's a thing, that's not what I'm talking about when I say organic. I'm uploading a whole bunch of content onto this channel to do with Organic September because it's something that's really um, close to my heart. I genuinely feel that organic is the way to go. So there's loads going on throughout Organic September. Uh, you can head over to the Soil Association website and check out all the events and see if there's anything near you and see how you can get involved. But this video is particularly about Organic Beauty Week, which starts on the 19th of September and runs through until the 25th of September. This year for Organic Beauty Week, the Soil Association are encouraging people to look out for the Soil Association logo because at the moment in the whole beauty world, there aren't really any set standards uh, for brands to be able to call themselves organic. So looking out for the logo is a great way of reassuring yourself that the product is truly organic and that the brand or the company has followed some really rigorous standards in order to get that logo. So looking out for the Soil Association logo is actually a really great place to start. So let's take a little look at some of those criteria. So if a beauty product has the Soil Association logo, then you know that it hasn't been tested on animals, it doesn't contain any genetically modified ingredients, they only use natural colours and fragrances which are derived from plants and flowers. Hooray, because at the moment synthetic fragrance is really annoying me. In fact, there's a perfumer just down the road from me who blast out a synthetic fragrance which fills the air. I even called them up this morning to sort of make a kind of complaint and ask them to turn it down. I don't know if it's something to do with the wind direction today, but it is genuinely quite strong in the air. But isn't that great? If I buy a product that's got the Soil Association logo, then I know it doesn't contain any synthetic fragrance and I'm gonna be cool with that. Also, they won't use any silicone oils or derivatives. And a Soil Association certified beauty product has to minimize their waste and their pollution. So it's not just about the ingredients, but it's about the whole process that goes into making that product it has to be environmentally kind, which I dig. Also, our skin is one of our biggest organs. Skin isn't an armor, it's an organ. So it works to absorb nutrients, which is why when you think about it, if you have a bath with Epsom salts, you can absorb nutrients through your skin. Or if you go swimming in the sea, apparently that's really good at absorbing nutrients and minerals and things. So our skin does absorb what we put on it. And I genuinely believe that putting the best products you can with the most natural and untampered with ingredients possible is the best thing for our skin. Just want to say I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just a regular gal who enjoys using minimal products, but I want those products to be really high quality and use as much organic natural ingredients as possible. I was invited to a preview of Organic Beauty Week, uh, where I got to meet some of the awesome, awesome brands who were involved. But it was genuinely a great day and I really enjoyed talking to all the people behind the brands and finding out about the ingredients that they use, why they've chosen to use certain ingredients and what story they have. So I was given this little, little, it's actually quite big and heavy, uh, goodie bag with samples in from most of the brands that I spoke to. First up we've got Oil Free Hydrating Facial Serum by Neil's Yard. Neil's Yard are probably the most widely known organic skincare brand. We've got the little Soil Association logo right there. So let's check this out. So this contains 85% organic ingredients. Easily absorbed oil-free serum helps balance oil and reduce shine. With balancing organic rose, mattifying willow herb and hydrating rice water. Gently massage onto skin morning and evening. Ooh. So that's the actual product. Mmm. 
That smells lovely. It's a very light serum, actually. That's really nice. I have to say, even though I'm not sort of a big beauty fan, when you get really lovely, <laughs> indulgent products like this one, it sort of makes you feel like you want to treat yourself. You want to treat yourself good. Oh, smells really good. So Neil's Yard is actually the one brand I didn't really get to speak to at the event um, because it all went by so quickly. They're pretty easy to find on a lot of high streets and online as well. So I love that it says made in England and I think the packaging, especially on this product, is actually pretty good. There's no parabens, no synthetic colours or fragrances, no animal testing and no genetically modified organisms. All right. So this one says Herb Pharmacy Skincare. Mallow Beauty Balm to nourish and protect. Oh, yeah. Again, they've used really good packaging. So I got to have a little chat with the owner of this brand and they have got some really lovely and interesting ingredients. And marshmallow is one of the key ingredients, I think, throughout a lot of their products. And he did actually have some marshmallow root to show me. And it was really interesting to sort of feel the texture of it and talk about how good it is for your skin. Um, again, this has come in a little glass jar, which is great. It says made in the UK. And this one actually has 100% organic ingredients, which is pretty awesome. Let's have a little sniff. Ooh. Oh, I love it when you open a product and it just looks so perfect. It's got a lot of like natural oils in it, which you sort of get a gentle hint of, but there's no sort of overpowering fragrance. Try this on my other hand just to mix it up a little. Wow, that's really nice. Such a subtle scent. And I think it's just the wonderful blend of oils in there that seem to work really well together. I'll put a link to all of these products in the info box below. You can read about all the awesome stories behind each one. They're made in Herefordshire in the UK, which is pretty cute. I was chatting to the owner and I noticed that one of their products comes with a plastic spatula. So I did ask him whether he would consider using a wooden spatula or maybe just no spatula. And he said they are actually switching to a wooden spatula, which is great. Hooray. This is their Rose and Echinacea Toner. Ooh, that smells lovely. Mmm. It doesn't really have a hugely strong scent to it, but it's, yeah, it's nice. It feels refreshing. Up next we've got a brand called Voya, which is a really interesting brand I think actually. The brand actually started out by selling just seaweed, which was harvested in Ireland, which you could put in a bath and it would allow you to soak up all the wonderful nutrients from the seaweed. And apparently it's something people used to do a lot of, was sort of taking a bath with seaweed. Um, sort of in my mind it plays out like people emerging from a bath like some sort of swamp monster, but that's just my weird sense of humour. Uh, but Voya seemed like a really interesting brand. So they found that as a result of people really enjoying bathing with the packs of seaweed, their customers were then looking for other products, so things to put on after they'd had their bath, like body moisturisers and stuff. So as a result, they developed more products using seaweed as a key ingredient um, to sort of follow on from your seaweed bath. So what have we got here? Nourishing body oil. I love the packaging as well. It looks so sort of natural and yes, it's recyclable. At Voya, we are committed to you and committed to the environment. That's why our operation and manufacturing are carbon balanced throughout the World Land Trust and our packaging is made from seaweed. Ooh, that's cool. And other responsibly sourced materials and is printed with vegetable based inks. Voya Advanced Skincare Products are created by blending wild seaweed with the finest organic ingredients and pure essential oils from around the globe. In line with our commitment to the local environment and drawing on generations of marine knowledge, every single strand of seaweed used in our products is selected by sight and harvested by hand along the sustainability managed pristine shores of West Ireland. So let's check this out. Oh, wow, that looks pretty special. Look at it. It's like a glass of pure gold. So it says on here 99.96% certified organically grown ingredients, which is pretty high. Let's try a different patch. I'm going to be so fully moisturized after this video because I'm trying to find different patches to put on the different products. So let's try my arm for this one. And it is a body oil, so it makes sense to put it on something like my arm. I understand why they say use it sparingly because seriously, a little goes a long way. I've just done one pump and it's covering my entire arm i think that would actually one pump would probably just cover your entire leg actually to be honest wow that smells amazing <sighs> what does that remind me of that genuinely transports me to something like a luxury spa experience 
but I'm sitting in my bedroom. Wow. 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 This is a fun video. So next up in my goodie bag, we've got Organic Virgin Coconut Oil by Kiki Health. So we've just got pure, raw, unrefined, certified organic, cold pressed virgin coconut oil. That's actually a super cute little jar. I can imagine sort of just carrying that with me as a little easy to use, multi-purpose, body moisturizer, face moisturizer, makeup remover. I can make toothpaste with it. I can even store my toothpaste in it. Coconut oil can also be used for hydrating hair. The possibilities seem endless right now and I'm quite excited. So this next product actually ties in with what I was just saying about removing makeup. These are the NatraCare Cleansing Makeup Removal Wipes. Now I personally, as I just said, use coconut oil and like a cloth or a towel or a sort of cotton pad or something. NatraCare are probably the most well known and actually I think one of the best quality organic tampon and sanitary towel brands. And I think they've started branching into other sort of personal care products like these cleansing makeup removal wipes. Now because I live a zero waste lifestyle, I try to be as minimalistic as possible when it comes to uh, disposable items. But I totally get that that doesn't suit everyone. Again, and they've got the Soil Association certification and it says gently and effectively removes makeup including waterproof mascara 99.5% of the ingredients are natural and 20% of the ingredients in this are organic I'm not going to open these now because I personally probably wouldn't use them because I love using coconut oil but um, I do have a friend actually who loves using makeup wipes. So I think I'm gonna give her this packet. She can enjoy it and see just how awesome a more natural brand is. Ah, oh, I love this brand. So this is Skin and Tonic and this particular product is their Naked Beauty Oil. Oh yeah, they said naked. Skin and Tonic is one of the brands that I was uh, really excited about meeting at the Organic Beauty uh, preview event. So I came across them originally in Anthropology on one of my gotta get another house and I wanna go and browse Anthropology moments. They caught my eye because their ethos is pretty awesome in my opinion. They don't use any more than seven ingredients in any of their products and they're all completely natural and organic. So it says British, organic and sustainable, made from nutrient rich oils packed full of vitamins A, C and E and omegas three and six. This beautifully gentle face serum helps heal, refine and hydrate and soothe dry and damaged skin. Unscented, suitable for sensitive skin types. I mean, it's just so darn cute. Look at it. It's a really lovely brand. It's quite a unisex brand as well. And also their packaging is really great. They mostly use glass bottles and jars and I just really dig them. I don't know about you guys, but anything that comes with a pipette instantly excites me. I don't know why. Trying it on the arm. Oh, wow, that smells amazing. What is it that's in that that's making me get really excited? Um, maybe it's the pumpkin seed oil. I do love a pumpkin. Maybe it's the apricot kernel oil or the, it's the raspberry seed oil. I think that's what it is. I, it smells incredible. Oh, something in there is taking me to a very special place right now and I kind of want to chill there for a bit. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't have favorites because I've got some seriously awesome brands in this video, but I do have a little, special place in my heart for skin and tonic. Guys, keep up the good work. Pie, I hope I'm saying that right. Pie I think is definitely something that I've seen on my travels. And I already have a couple of their organic muslin cloths which I use to sort of clean my face. So I think that's how I've come across them before. So we've got Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Rapid Radiance Mask. Oh, this is a mask. That's exciting. Again, it's another UK brand and it does actually say please recycle responsibly underneath. I will do so. This is also for all skin types, it says. So let's have a little look inside. Oh, okay. So these are actually the cloths I was just telling you about. So it comes with the product. That's pretty cool. They're organic cotton cloths. Apply a generous layer to clean skin and leave for eight to 10 minutes and remove gently with a warm, damp muslin cloth, which has been provided, thank you very much. I squeeze a bit out. I've put that on a really random part of my arm as well. It's got a slight sort of sweet smell to it, almost a bit like honey, it's really nice. Uh, does it even contain honey? Does it have a sort of honey ingredient? Strawberry leaf, maybe it's strawberry leaf I'm smelling. <laughs> There's just so much indulgence going on right now, I feel quite special. This is Spiezza Organics. So this is actually a sort of biodynamic brand. Um, so they work with the phases of the moon. Whether you seek calm and peace, a reviving energy boost or mental clarity, our three little bottles empower you to take a few valuable moments 
for yourself. So we've got lavender, geranium and Roman chamomile scents. I did actually smell a couple of these on their stand and there was one that really sort of jumped out at me. Let's see if it's in here. Ah, oh, that's really cute. I think it was the one in the middle that really jumped out at me when I was smelling them at the stand at the event. Yep, that's the one. It's like a sunshine in a bottle. It says, take a breath, just place a couple of drops of oil on your fingertips, rub together and gently clasp them over the face. Take three deep breaths and release any tension. <sighs> this is what I normally do for my Darth Vader impression. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty special. Oh, we've got another pipette, all right. So this is Terra Verdi, or Terra Verdi, I guess, because it's actually a Sicilian. So this, again, was a really interesting brand and actually was quite striking on the stands. There's something about the black and the gold that really sort of looked quite slick. So 99% of their ingredients are organic. And I think the lady I spoke to said that the only one ingredient that isn't organic is their vitamin E, which is naturally derived vitamin E. So it's not created in a lab. It's completely natural. So this is their Franchuli Pom facial serum. This might sound a bit odd, but the easiest part that I haven't moisturized yet and that's within reach is my kneecap. So I'm gonna put this on my knee. For dry to mature skin types, uh, use mornings or evenings after cleansing and before applying your moisturizer or on its own massage a few drops on the face and neck. What about my knee? Oh, that smells good. Oh, wow. Smell my kneecap, <laughs> as you do. Um, that smells lovely and it's got a really lovely texture to it. It's not a runny serum, it's quite sort of robust and a little bit goes a long way. So that is very cool. I'd highly recommend them. It does actually say made in the UK. And again, it says no parabens and synthetic ingredients. I actually feel like that's quite an exciting brand. It looks sort of luxury enough that people want to treat themselves and sort of natural and organic enough that people like me who give a crap about that sort of thing will feel like it's a really indulgent experience. I'm nearly there. Ah, okay, so up next we've got Bamford, uh, which is a brand that I have used a lot in the past, actually. So I love their 100% organic uh, lip balm. I've mentioned that in my uh, makeup favorites video, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mention it again in a few other videos if I haven't already. I also love their body oil and their bath oil. They are really, really indulgent. And if you haven't had a chance, I'd highly recommend checking out the Bamford Hay Barn Spa. I've been a couple of times. They've got a few in London. There's one randomly at Fortnum and Mason, which might not sound like it's a relaxing environment, but they've created a real sort of little haven there. So it takes you away from London and you forget that you're sort of in the heart of London town. And the woman who has massaged me there the last few times has just got magic hands, people. She's incredible. So anyway, we've got Bamford's Body Wash and Body Lotion. These are their sort of sample sizes. A lot of their packaging is normally glass, but I think because they've got sort of, oh, I'm gonna drop it. But because these are the small sample versions, they do little plastic bottles, which are recyclable. It does say, please recycle on it. Um, so here we've got the Body Wash and the Body Lotion, which are both geranium, lavender, and peppermint. Ooh. It's got a real sort of calming and I feel like I've slowed down the way I'm talking because I've just had a little sniff of that. Mmm, that is genuinely, genuinely heavenly. Wipe a little bit onto my thigh now. <laughs> oh yeah. That actually glides in really easily. Like sometimes body lotions can be a bit thick and a bit of a, a workout to try and get them to sink into your skin, but that absorbed really easily. It's made in England. It says at Bamford, we believe that what goes on the body is as important as what we put inside our bodies. So that is so true. So we're on the home stretch now, guys. Uh, this is a brand called Therapy and it's one that I'm very aware of, but I haven't actually tried myself yet. Um, it says it's made with 90% organic ingredients. This is is their honey gel cleanser number one purifier and it says five percent of our profits support bee conservation which is something that i actually feel quite passionate about so that's what it looks like inside again it's a glass jar which is great i have to say i've been genuinely impressed i was expecting a lot of plastic in some of these products but overall the plastic has actually been quite minimal and it is recyclable let's have a little try oh i see you swivel it <laughs> all right you swivel it to open it now i know Oh, wow, yeah, again. That does smell amazing. Lightly, is there lemon in there? I can't remember. Yes, lemon myrtle, it's right on the box. That's really lovely. So it also came with this 
little cognac sponge. Um, I've used these in the past. I actually used these a lot before I went zero waste because they do tend to come wrapped in a plastic pouch. Um, and I know I did email the company about it and they got back to me explaining something to do with their packaging. I can't remember what they said. And this one did come in a very minimalistic plastic pouch. I have to say that because my inner zero waster would feel a bit bad if I didn't let you know about that. Um, so this is the cognac sponge. If you haven't heard of these, then where have you been? These are basically a sponge made from a vegetable. And I think it's a Japanese vegetable, I think. And essentially it's baked in the oven and goes sort of solid like this. And you can get different types of sponge some of them have got different types of clays in them so you can get ones that are more sort of exfoliating and ones that are more sort of nourishing or better for younger skin so often you'll see them in different colors like a black or a pink they are completely natural themselves and they can be composted at the end of their life especially if you use only sort of like natural organic products with it you could pop it in your plant pots and it will biodegrade therapy is also another brand which i didn't get to chat that much to at the end it was a sort of everybody was packing up so i rushed over just to say hi um, and the lady on the stand there very kindly gave me a couple of extra extra samples. So this is their honey moisturizer and their ultra radiance cream. Oh, that smells lovely. Okay, so that's their orange blossom number three honey moisturizer. Uh, balancing for normal skin, again, made in England. And then we've got the ultra radiance cream. Let's have a little sniff of this. Ooh, so that's what it looks like. That's really like thick, but feels really indulgent. Ooh, right, where should I rub that? Oh, for some reason that reminds me of summer holidays. <laughs> slightly buttery in texture it's so good um, and that rubbed in to my skin really easily as well and that's everything from the bag of plenty what an incredible gift bag normally I sort of refuse a lot of freebies and don't normally take goodie bags but on this occasion I felt quite strongly that all of these brands are making a real effort to use the best quality organic ingredients as much as possible. And they all had really interesting stories to tell. And I genuinely felt like I wanted to support what they were doing. So not all of the brands fit in with a zero waste lifestyle. I get that, but there are times when I think, you know what, everything else that they're doing really is incredible. And I think the more people that are exposed to awesome, awesome brands like these ones, then it's gonna have a huge knock-on effect for how we farm in this country and how we source ingredients and how we look after ourselves as well. I think a lot of brands that do use natural and mostly organic ingredients care about having a positive effect on the environment. I also love that even the smaller brands have gone above and beyond to get the Soil Association logo because they know that that is the best certification that they can get and it instills trust in the consumer. So I think it's really exciting to see even brands that are very small and just starting out are making a real effort to get that Soil Association stamp. So I'll put links to all of the products in the info box below as well as some links to the Soil Association's website and any other links that I think you might find are useful you're welcome thanks so much for watching there are some other videos to do with organic september you could try watching this one here if you feel impassioned then please do get involved with organic september and whether your passion is to do with food with fashion or with beauty there's basically an organic sector for you to get excited about if you liked this video then hit the thumbs up and if you feel like it you could subscribe just a thought i'll put the little button just there and you can click it whenever you feel like it in the next few seconds Okay, bye. And remember, you're beautiful. You're gosh darn beautiful.